Alright guys, this is my video on basically praying mantis, I guess, um, and why in my opinion they're pretty much the best pet you could get. So, I've got two dogs, I'm not denying, my dogs are amazing, I love my dogs more than my praying mantis. Uh, tarantulas, brilliant, fucking brilliant, got 30 years to spare then yeah, sure will get yourself a tarantula. Um, Again, my python, absolutely love it, absolutely amazing, but however docile it is, you could buy it for your kid and then they've got a python for the next 25 years of their life, which either you'll end up looking after or you'll get rid of or, you know, maybe they'll look after it for 25 years, but, um, so this is basically what, it's basically just tell you why Primance is great, I guess. Um, let me just get Lloyd. Lloyd is the spokesperson for everything great because he's the hero of the situation. Um, what is going on here? What are you doing? So, for a start, I'll show you Lloyd, everyone's seen him anyway, but this is a giant Asian prey mantis. Obviously there's different types, and uh, I've had this since it was a tiny little dot, a miniature, miniature nymph. There it is. Looks amazing. Um, I've been keeping prey mantis for a long time now. Never been bitten. Never had any issues with bites. In fact, I don't think I've even had one try and bite me. I've had a. Uh... Have a drink. Um, I've had a. Uh, had them feed off my hand, which is a little bit scary, but you know, it's fine. Um, and, you know, it's just cool. It's a cool pet. Um, educational, so if you're getting it for your kid, you know, you can watch him hunt, you can handle him. It's a bit more fun than having a hamster. You can have a hamster, you know, you get bitten by a hamster and it hurts. Um, get bitten by this, it's nothing, and I've never, never been bitten by one. Uh, lives for about a year, if you're lucky, so you're not going to get it and then say, oh, well, I've got to look after this for the next four years. The requirements are near on nothing. You want to get yourself a spray bottle, spray them once every couple of days and you know some crickets or flies as I use um, I mean look it's just fucking cool it's so minimal cost so minimal space so much more interesting than just getting a hamster or something and they're not expensive to buy they just and you know they come in all shapes and sizes as well this is the other thing and it's the best way to teach kids not to be afraid of bugs. You have so many kids these days. In fact, it's not just kids. I know people, there's so many people these days, you show them a spider and they say, Whoa, God, what's that? That's horrible. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. They're afraid of the wrong things. People these days are afraid of absolutely everything. Um, you know, that's why they're phobias, because they're irrational fears. This thing couldn't harm you. Most of the tarantulas I've got in here couldn't harm you. Um, there's a couple... I guess there's an exception for a couple, but you know, do it. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna get a pet, get a mantis. Um, I'll show you a few I've got. Just put Lloyd back. Go on, Lloyd. Get back in your house. Lloyd has to go in his house now because uh, I'm really afraid that the cats might get him. That's the only issue. He can no longer free range. Um, let me just put his little lid. I mean, this is, this is the thing, this is his house. You can have a bigger house, he's had a bigger house before, I swap him around, but it's not taking up a lot of space. It's pretty much, you know, it's fine for him. If you want a bigger house, that's fine. Um, so, another great one to get as a pet for someone younger, I guess, if you're not just, if you don't want one for yourself and you're sort of a mature age where you know you're going to keep him. Another one to go for is 
these here, these are the giant, these are the giant rainforest mantises, really colourful, about the same size, maybe, maybe a little bit bigger, about the same lifespan, um, same diet, same sort of thing, just a little bit more humid. Um, I've got some cool little ones in these, but these aren't so much. If you're getting one for a, someone younger, I wouldn't go for a flower mantis or later, sorry, an orchid mantis. Um, a couple of spiny flower mantises in there. I wouldn't go for them um, because they're a bit skittish. It's not like they're going to bite you, but they're going to run away. You're going to try and hold them and they'll run away. Um, another really great one is the giant dead leaf mantis. They will get quite a lot bigger and he can live for just over a year. Um, yeah, absolutely great. Absolutely great. All pretty much the same way to look after. Some of them need a little bit more warmer than other ones. Um, if you want to get one, you can get it from... Let me just find a baby one. Get it from this sort of size. It's a little nymph. Looks like an ant, just to show you how small he is. That's my finger. And they're great. I mean, look after them the same way. You just give him a little bit of water in his substrate and then give him a fly every now and then. These guys have been fed a lot, but let's just see if we can get him to eat a little fly. The only reason I'm using a paintbrush at this age, I don't want to scare him. I want him to just use a fly. Oh, he saw it. He's like, what is that? Delicious. It's not the smartest animal. He realises he's taking the longest route to get it. But... Here he goes. Give me a fly. Oh, there he goes. It's like the smallest feeding video I think I've ever done. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm going to be able to zoom into this one. These Madagascan praying mantis nymphs, Madagascan marbled mantises. I don't have any adults, they've unfortunately passed away. They got a bit old after laying all their eggs. Um, but yeah, this is another thing. It's all well and good to say I want to breed praying mantises, but if you do want to breed praying mantises, that's where it becomes a uh, that's where it becomes a task. Having one or two is an absolute delight. It's easy to look after. But then you decide that you want to breed them, and that's the result of breeding them. Plus more eggs hatching there. So, unless you want to take on a four or five hour feeding session a day, I don't recommend it. Uh, obviously, I want to turn this into my job eventually, so. Um, yeah, but there you go.